Terrence drops it off. On this play, Adamson started with a very good spacing with all five players at position at the right spot. They do it with a pass and cut to start the play. While on the weak side, there was still an off-ball movement with the two players interchanging at the same time. If you think of it, it seems useless, but it actually confuses the defender whether to help or to stay under man. Here, we can see the guard making a cat after a pass. He went fake to left but went hard going right to cut as he was open for a pass, which made the weak side defender to go for a help and made the corner teammate that followed him was a drop pass away from the basket. You also have to credit the guard for recognizing the defender helping on him, which leads to an open layup. They get Zarek an open load. Ahanisi. We all know Ahanisi is one of the best shooting guard in the league. As you can see here, he was well guarded by his defender on this sequence, but he tried to fake a cut to keep his defender moving around him. Then he walks as if he was out of the play. When he knew a down screen from a teammate was coming for him, he decided to run on top of the key. There, he got open and was able to get the ball and swing it on the other side. After swinging the ball, he went back walking, which makes his defender relax a bit as if it looks like Anne Nisi is again out of the play. If you can see, bagsak yung shoulders ng defender, which means he is not ready anytime on playing defense on Ahan Misi. And that's the cue for Ahan Misi and the perfect timing to run the play. He knew a box screen was coming for him. He ran towards the screener to bring his defender. That's when Ahan Misi went to flare and got a wide open shot. A kind of shot that Ahan Misi would take any time of the day with no hesitation. In this sequence, FEU started the play with two-man game. This is a baseline-to-baseline -baseline screen where the other players that are not involved are positioned in the weak side. FEU loves to play two-man game or ball screen to start off their plays most of the time, knowing their bigs or power forwards are good to attack the basket or take an outside shot after popping up. Here, we can see the guard using the screen and attacking baseline. But the big man defender went for a help as Ahanisi came late to recover his man as he was stuck after the pick, which made the screener big open after popping out on top of the key. Escoto can choose whether to take the shot or attack the basket as the wing defender went to him to recover while big man hasn't recovered. But Escoto decided to swing it on the wing as he was more open than anyone else. The wing defender tried to recover as fast as he can but Axel Inigo was quick to release the shot and yet yeah, he made it. Jose, oh, what a crossover by Raymar Jose! In this play, you can see it was already a one-on-one -on -one for Raymar, trying to make his defender bite on his fake a job step which didn't work right away made him think to go from left to right and made a hasty move that his defender bite so well challenging him thinking that he would shoot from there already. But Raymar created another move with a crossover that made him open for a drive to the basket on the left side. A helper came in to give him a hard time and challenging him on getting that easy layup, but he was quick to fake a drop pass to his teammate before going all the way to the basket. As you can see, he was good at reading what his defender did and getting a basket from this sequence. 